Buttigieg, the transportation secretary under Biden. He was on Face of the Nation to talk about the Biden's electric car program, where they're going to install 500,000 electric chargers across the nation to make us green. So let's take a look at where this stands. Federal Highway Administration says only seven or eight charging stations have been produced with a seven and a half billion investment that taxpayers made back in 2021. What? What the hell? So since 2021, they spent seven and a half billion dollars to install these charger stations. And so far during that time, they've installed seven or eight. I will give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's say is call it eight. <laughs> For $7 billion, that's like a billion dollars for a charging station. I mean, this is very, this is very queer. Let's just put it that way. It's, it's very strange. Why isn't that happening more quickly? So the president's goal is to have half a million chargers up by the end of this decade. Now, well, who cares his goal? This is ridiculous. So, okay, you just have to put this in perspective. Do something called math. So by the end of the decade... So that's uh, 2029 or 2030, we'll have 500,000 of these stations installed. And so far, working on it since uh, 2021, so it's been three years, we have a total of seven, maybe eight. All right. Okay. So let's put this in perspective. This would be like if I came to you, your, your girlfriend or something, you're, hey, baby, uh, I, I know I don't have a lot of money, but please have patience with me. Uh, by the end of the decade, I'm going to have a million dollars. I'm turning my life around. I'm getting off drugs. I'm getting my habits together. And she goes, okay, well, I'll, I'll see what you're doing. Then three years later, you're like, oh, baby, baby, I got, I am making progress. I have saved up money. I am on track to that $1 million goal. And then she asked, well, how much do you have saved so far? I have $16, $16 saved so far. That's what it's equivalent to. This is so crazy. In order to do a charger, it's more than just plunking a, mm -hmm. a, a small device into the ground. There's utility work, and this is also uh, really a new category of federal investment. But we've been working with each of the 50 states. Every one of them is getting formula dollars to do this work, Seven engaging eight, them though? in the first handful, again, by 2030, 500,000. <laughs> she can't even stop but laughing, right? Because so he's saying by 2030, they will have 500,000 installed and working on this for three years at a cost of seven and a half billion dollars. They've so far have seven or eight, right? So uh, that doesn't look like very good progress going on right there. So let's watch this again. And she's a Democrat. She can't help but laugh based on this very uh, strange comment. And full, again, by 2030, 500,000. <laughs> she had a laugh. And chargers and the very first handful of chargers are now already being physically built. The federal. All right. So uh, this is, uh, there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, whenever you have a government enterprise, you have red tape, everything's slow. You don't have any market pressure. It's not like you're a private corporation where you have to uh, turn a profit. I, everyone just goes off and nothing really gets done. So it, you have the government enterprise being. That's just the nature of the government. Like if Tesla had to do this, it it already there'd be probably five hundred thousand installed in one year. But the government, no, it always goes slow. And then two, the government, they're not going to have a bunch of white guys get the contracts because no, that wouldn't be diversity, equity, or inclusion. Ah, uh -uh, we can't have that. Well, unless they're special white guys like uh. A Pete, but maybe maybe if you if you kind of that type of white guy, maybe you could get the contract. But otherwise, if you're a typical guy that works in infrastructure, uh, you know, laying the pipe, so to speak, in the in the way that they do in rural America, not how they do uh, with Pete Buttigieg in Washington D.C. and you know, not, not so it's a different thing. Those guys tend to be white straight males, but see, oh no, that's evil. We can't have that. So we have this whole cluster screw up that is happening here at your cost, seven and a half billion dollars or eight, uh, a billion. So they, they've literally a billion dollars of chargers so far. There's, they're not going to do this. They're not going to have 500,000 installed by the year 
2030. This is a boondoggle. Is this not going to happen? This is what happens when the government gets involved. It's, it's a disaster. And when you start hiring people like Pete Buttigieg that don't know anything about their industry, but they check some diversity check mark because of the race or because of their sex, or in case of Pete Buttigieg, because of his sexual perversion. If that's why you hire people, this is the result you get. Talk to you guys later.